today we're going to look at the Fluke 810 vibration tester and we want to run through the steps of actually making a measurement. We already have written the procedure and saved it and called it up and we're now in a position to measure the rotation speed of the shaft. So I want to say measure RPM and as soon as the green button lights up I can measure the RPM with a laser tachometer probe. So now it's measured the RPM and it's checking out the sensor, detecting the sensor type. <clears throat> now we're ready to uh, start the procedure and we have a choice to select new orientations or locations or use existing ones. I'm going to select new ones and now it, it shows me a graphic showing me the, the, the motor, the coupling, and the simulated fan. So I hit enter and it says sensors on location one. So it wants me to put the sensor on the free end of the motor. So I rotate the magnetic mount onto the motor housing and uh, press enter. And now it wants to know, is it on the top, the side, or the end? And I put it on the end, so I'm going to select end. The cable is per perpendicular to the shaft of the motor. So I'm going to select perpendicular to the shaft of the motor. And now we're ready to measure. And what we'll do, to, we'll do it, we'll repeat that four times. We'll move the, the uh, triaxial accelerometer from here to here to here to here and make measurements near all those bearings. Now we've taken our measurements on four locations and uh, we're ready to diagnose our and get our analysis. So I'll push the diagnose button. And now we've completed the test and the diagnosis is being presented on the screen in a very simple format with the fault and the severity and uh, for six different faults it found. This is kind of, this is what we expected from this setup that has the unbalanced weight. And um, this, so this is how we actually take the measurements and the A10 does the diagnosis.